All right, we are going to use the bend modifier in Maya 2024 to enhance these cute little trees that maybe give them a little bit more personality. We've got one cube, three pyramids, and I'm going to go to my channel box. I'm going to show you the wrong way first, so don't do this. Top left corner, hit the drop down, go to animation, deform, nonlinear, bend. This is our bend. We have curvature. I'm going to change that value under curvature, and then you'll see it's bending, but like the trunk is staying straight. Things aren't really working. Let me undo that, show you why. If we look at our geometry, we need like edge loops that go through this tree. Now you could manually put in like multi cuts or edge loops through this, but what I'm going to do instead, go to modeling toolkit, add divisions, and I'm just going to increase this number by two. I like to clear my history with Alt Shift D, and instead of going through all these steps to find bend, I'm going to press Control F, and this is the bend we're looking for. It is right here because I've already searched for it, but I'm going to start spelling out bend and we want this purple icon. When I click it, boom, we have that bend handle. So in my channel box, I can actually grab the word curvature and change these values. So now you can see, all right, since we got those edges, this looks super, super nice. I'm going to do an extreme curvature just so you can see what's going on here. If I change the value to low bound to zero, tree is straight and then it's curved. High bound just deals with the top of that curve. So I could have the top of the tree curve all the way if I want and the bottom of the tree curve as well. Don't forget that with this bend handle selected, you could press W and then I can move this to get different results. So keep that in mind. Let's play with that curvature. I like something like that. And maybe it has a little bit more personality than this straight up and down tree. 